You do know in the 42nd chapter of Job that a change did come. Huh? And so in the midst of his calamity, in the midst of his struggle, in the midst of what he's going through, Job prompted the question. You know, they said Job was sick for so long, the flesh now done fell off his bone. He done lost his children. He lost his wealth. Huh? He's in the process of losing his health. Huh? Yet been pressured by his wife to lose his faith. Hmm? And with all this going on, Minister Tim and Joe live, Joe pumped the ultimate question. All this stuff, it seems like, Sister Carla, death is in it. It seems like death is at hand. You know, you had great wealth. He was the richest man in all of us. Lost his kids, lost his health. Threatened about his fate because she said, if you, uh, let's go ahead, Joe, you're so sick, let's go ahead and, and, and curse God and die. Ain't nothing else to do but roll over and die. Because somebody said you might be mighty low when the only option, uh, 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 option is death. Huh? And so Joe began to talk, Lucy. He began to talk and say, since I have lost everything, since my wealth wills away, since my help is beginning to bother me, and you know I got my wife that God gave me. You know, he gave me this woman. You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing Adam said. I borrowed that from Adam. I'm like, Joe, you know, this woman is talking crazy. This woman is telling me to curse you and die. You know, I was doing pretty good until you decided to bring her alone. Now, since you gave her to me. Huh? And she's tripping now. Mm -hmm. huh? Made me think she done talked to State Farm or MetLife or something. You know what I'm saying? Talking about go ahead and curse him and die. Like she, you know, she act like this. I mean, made me think she got a poly somewhere back there in, in a coconut tree or something. You talk to me, Eric. You looking, you know, but to check the woman, she may have a poly on. Now, when she gets to telling you to curse God and die, she got another agenda. <laughs> I'm just talking, y'all. I was starting no stuff, but you know, you know, huh? I mean, you know, met like man, you no, know, stay for him. I don't know who you got it from, you know, but curse God. In other words, get it over. And so now she's talking all this stuff. Look like every time I'm, I, I hadn't got away from me, and now she's talking about, so I want to know, God, if I give in, hmm? I want to know, God, that if I surrender. I want to know, God, that if I curse you and die, will I live again? Hmm. Somebody look at Joe. Joe is already looking for things to get better. Look, in, in, in his conversation with God, you can tell me he's talking about things getting better. If I die, that means it's the end of this one. Would you give me another one? Tell somebody to come, but the next one is going to be better than this one. So I'm already looking forward to something. Even if it comes out to death, I'm looking for the rebirth. Oh, Joe, y'all, but Joe talking some fate up in there, baby. Joe talking some stuff. Joe lost everything he had. He got a question for God. Okay, God, I'm willing to take this. I lose all, I suffer everything, but you need to tell me something if I die. Hey, when I live again, when I live, take your seat. I got about five of y'all that got with me. Rest of y'all ain't got this. Because, Gwen, I'm willing to die if I'm going to live again. Because all that hell I suffer in the first life, it's going to be gone with death. So now, if I can't come back with a better life, so Joe is saying, I'm talking now. I mean, I lost everything in the first round. I, 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 I done lost a famine. I ain't want to lose now, nothing. I done build my wealth to great height. I don't want to hit rock bottom again. I had perfect help and lost my help to flesh and fell off my bone. And you talking about another life? If it ain't gonna be no better than the past one. Take your seat, you Rick. I can't get no help. They, they ain't gonna help pair up in here today. 
So Joe said, now, call her, if I die, will I live again? And Joe, he ain't really thinking about the afterlife. Joe said, I just want to live. Tell your name, I'm in love with living. Hmm. There's something about living. Huh? I want to embrace it again. You better tell somebody, I ain't got no problem with, with being born again. I ain't got no problem with coming from my sins and the blood of Jesus been shedded from my sin, my iniquity. Wash me water than water than snow. You better tell somebody, I ain't got no problem with rebuffing if God gonna let me live again. And some of y'all that living again, you need to go and tell somebody, baby, this life ain't nothing like the past life. I come to tell you, I ain't found nothing no better. Hey! Take your seat. I'm moving. I'm moving now. Take your seat here. I make some sense here. I make some sense. After a while, Mr. Tim, I make some sense. After a while, Joe said, "I'm just waiting on my change." <laughs> Call me lazy, but I'm waiting on my change. Call me unconcerned, but I'm waiting on my change. Call me slow for call me what you want to call me, but baby, I'm waiting on my change. Say what you want to say. I ain't talking much. I'm just waiting on my change. Say, I may not be driving what you're driving. I may not be living where you live. I'm waiting on my change. I found somebody that change. Now take your seat here. Take your seat here. Now we, 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 we engage in here. To those of y'all that be viewing us on, on social media and everything, you probably wonder why we're looking like this. We in Super Sunday. Now, let me deal with a little bit about that because that's some, that's some sports terminology here. I want to bring into scripture. Okay, and, and you know this is the big game and everything. And, you know, we're going to get into it later on. So this is a sports Sunday. So, you know, I don't have no problem with wrapping it all up, tying it all up in scripture. But look at somebody. I said early, tell your neighbor. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, I'm a game changer. Yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now notice notice this. Now some of y'all may not be familiar with what's going to take place. You got the Denver Broncos and you got the Seattle Seahawks. And for the Denver Broncos, you got Peyton Manning. may go down as one of the greatest quarterback there ever was. You expect him to do his thing. Then you got the boy on the other side, 25. Been talking smack for the last two weeks. Hey, Amen. They call him a thug, but they do know he has an agree from Stanford. I just had to throw that in. Huh? Tell somebody it's all about them Benjamin, baby. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. He, he ain't no thud. He ain't no fool. He about to make another dollar. Mm -hmm. But you got number one defense. Sherman against number one offense. So you look for Peyton Manning and Sherman to show out. That's a given. Okay, but the game changer is going to be the underdog that ain't nobody talking about right now. Baby, he's going to be a game changer. Can I talk to you a little bit about David? Tell us about David is going to be the game changer because you, you know Jesse went down there. Samuel went down there and Jesse had everybody to present before Daniel, before David. So you know the big boys, you expect them to do something. But there's a little rubber boy out there among the sheep. Look at somebody say, that's a game changer right there. My God. Look at somebody say, I'm still waiting on my change, baby, because I'm going to change this thing. Uh, my God, look at somebody uh, and tell them things are about to change. Uh, I'm going to be the game changer. Now notice this. Because cause, cause, you know, somebody's waiting. Somebody Gwen, I'm going to tell you now the star is not going to be we'll call it what they got out there now. Mm -hmm. mm. That's going to be a game changer. 
Somebody you haven't heard his name all year long. Huh? What is a game? What is a game? It's at a pivotal moment of the game, a defining moment in the game, that something miraculous happened, changed the outcome of the game. Tell somebody change. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. That's what something go, they, he he gonna contribute in some way. It's gonna change for better, or it may change. For worse, because he might be the one that missed the ball. He might be the one that fumbled the ball. He might be the one that just get an old crazy penalty that's going to cause his team to lose, but it's going to change either way. Huh? And so here it go, here it go, here it go this thing. Now, we, here we go. Joe said, now, you know, I've, I've been in this thing and look like I done lost everything. Look like I'm just getting behind. Look like everything has been taken from me and look like the only option I have now is death. Look like I might as well go ahead and take the advice of this woman. You know, I ain't listening to nothing she said in 27 years. I might as well. I might as well take her advice now to go ahead and just curse God like I ain't never cursed him before. And tell him everything I've been wanting to tell him. Didn't roll over and die. But I just want to know God before I die. Will I live again? 